What's up? It's just Marissa, and today I'm going to be doing a life update-ish video. I'm going to be telling you what's going on and why I've been gone so long. So, yeah. And I'm also going to be doing a makeup routine. So, let's get on with the rest of the video. So, I think we should start off with an OOTD, an outfit of the day. So, yeah. So, Let me today show. I'm wearing this gray top from Aeropostale. It has little black flowers on it and black capri pants and i'm gonna be wearing those gray pumas they're pretty cute and yeah so life update let me set up the camera and then we'll start talking okay guys so i set up the camera and yeah so life update so i've been gone so long just because school it was like I haven't posted in like two to three months super sorry about that but um it was summer i didn't post anything around summer super sorry i did so much fun stuff i went to kalahari i did a lot of fun stuff but yeah i didn't vlog any of that because i was with friends and family so i was trying to keep that a little private so sorry about that again then school started and yeah and now i am in school i am doing hip-hop and jazz once a week that's really fun um i'm getting braces this upcoming monday and two days ago thursday um i'll be posting this today on saturday october 6th and yeah but anyway, um, Thursday I got my spacers on, and I'll show you, they're blue. Right here, right here, and same spots but on the top of my teeth. So that's pretty exciting. That's going to change my whole life for having straight teeth. I'm really excited about that, but they really hurt. Even my spacers right now hurt, but I can't really do anything about it because it's moving your teeth, so... Yeah. I'm also going to be doing a beauty routine. So I think we'll start on that. But before we get started with that, I want to tell you about what I had because I've missed around almost three weeks of school. No, wait, two weeks for my friends cons being concerned. So I. I'm not sure exactly what I had. We still don't know. It just came out of the blue. And yeah, it was horrible. I think it was a stomach virus, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, it sucked. Throwing up. And thankfully, it stops now. It's just all the pain I have right now is my teeth with spacers and then braces on Monday. Sorry, I have no nail polish on, no nails. Sorry, but yeah. So, let's get started with my beauty routine. So to start off, I'm gonna be using these oil absorbing sheets. I washed my face this morning, but that was like three hours ago, because currently right now it's 11.16. So, just in case I have any excess oils on my face, um, I'm gonna be using these. And I got them from CVS, they're like, three four dollars i recommend them a lot because they work amazing so yeah they're kind of disgusting for the like after like showing you all the oil on my face so i'm probably gonna try to do that because that's disgusting we're not trying to be disgusting but yeah so it's this little blue sheet and then you just rub it against your face like this and it will take the excess oil off your face and i don't have any makeup on right now because I woke up like four hours ago, so I wasn't ready to get started with my day yet. Like it was pretty early, so yeah. And it will start to get clear like this. See, that's really disgusting. I, I didn't really want to show you, but I'm just showing you right now. So like that's all the oils on my face. Ew, I know. But that's why you start off with this, just to take off the excess oils. And yeah, so now this will go in the garbage, and I'll be right back. So 
So I'm going to bring you over to my desk and we're going to do my makeup and I'm going to set it up. I'm going to use my makeup mirror. You guys will see the TV in the background. I'm sorry. I just really don't feel like turning it off. Oh yeah, it has to get plugged in. Shoot. Actually, we're going to do my makeup over here. Because my makeup mirror, it has, like, it has to stay next to electricity. It's just how it is. It's really stupid, but it works really well. So, yeah. My skin sucks right now. Like, pimples everywhere. I know. I do wash my face every morning. Trust me. Even when I was sick. I wash my face because you don't want to be that stinky kid in class with pimples all over your face so this is the makeup routine um where to cover all that up so i'm going to show you my makeup mirror and my little like section for makeup what i use what's some of my favorite products and yeah just clean up my area a bit okay so i'm going to get started with that looks like this you open the two wings and there's me yes i use my phone for vlogging yep so i have the iphone x that's really cool okay now you're gonna press this and it's gonna have a bunch of light on your face it works really good <clears throat> this is a chapstick that my mom got me while i was sick it works amazing i like it a lot this is the mint kind, and it's super great. Then under here, I have a mascara. I love this is one of my favorites. Then over here, I have my panda cup with all my brushes. Um, I have a couple different types of brushes. This I use so much for all my powder to blend everything out. This is probably one of my favorite brushes I use. Yeah, that's what it looks like. If you want to get it. These brushes I got from Marshalls, so I don't remember the exact brand, but like I really like these ones because it said like what you use it for, so like foundation. I haven't used all of them yet because I don't really wear foundation. I wear powder just because I don't really need foundation yet, but yeah. So here's my little makeup setup. So I keep some of my makeup in this little cupcake, like little blenders, and then I have a lipstick here. I, it broke, but I could still use it a little bit, but not really. Because it fell on the floor and then smashed. So, yeah. Then, I have this Beauty Blender holder. I should probably clean this off. I have Beauty Blender cleanser. Um, I could do a video on that where I could show you guys how to clean up your brushes and your Beauty Blenders. And I have the soap for it. Soap for it. So, I could show you what to use. But, yeah. I like this blender a lot. And the stand is super cute. I also got, I got both of these in a pack with eight of the little guys for blenders. And you got like three big ones of the, the normal size blenders with that little container. I think that was around $15. So yeah. And then I have two highlighters right here. And then I have my eyeshadow palettes in my closet. But I'm not going to be using this today because my eyes have been really itchy today. So I'm not going to be wearing mascara. But normally I wear mascara, just not today. Um, here's a lipstick, concealer, liquid concealer. This is like an on the go one. I use this sometimes. If I feel like it, maybe I'll show you guys how to use it today, but we'll see. Um, this is like one of my favorite highlighters. I only have two, but this I have to say this is my favorite because it's Laura Geller, New York. It is, if you want to get it, it's in Gilded Honey. And it works awesome and it gives you like that little shine and the perfect finish that you want next this is my favorite eyeshadow that I own it's in moonstone and if I can open it maybe not but it's really sparkly let me show you by the light see that it's really it's really pretty I love it then I have this powder this is in um, Warm. This is in the shade Warm. W4. It does come with an applicator, which is nice. But I just use my big blending brushes. Here is like a little contour and eyeshadow palette. So it comes in with it. And that's this is blush, bronzer, 
press pad or bron bronzer, and I think two eyeshadows. This is by Clinique. Then I have two of these. I bought two by accident, but because like I th I saw it and then yeah whatever. <laughs> but this is my favorite powder of all time. I use both of these in my routine. But yep, I showed this in my like beauty video, like what I use. So. Then a couple of lip, lip products, a primer, and yeah. So let's get started with the actual tutorial. Okay, hey guys. So first in my makeup routine, I'm going to be using this concealer. It is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. That's what it looks like. I'm going to probably have to get a new one of these soon because I use this every day. So I'm going to be looking at my beauty mirror and you can see me putting it on. Do three dots under your eye. Then cover any blemishes you have. Like on your chin. Um, I have one over here. Then on my forehead I go in. And just blot. Or like any little red marks. That you want to cover. Okay, so this is me with my concealer on. Close it up and put it back. Then we're going to use... One second, okay. We're going to use my Blue Beauty Blender with the, the sharper pointed end, I guess. And we're going to blend it out. So yeah, so it looks like blended out. It's not completely blended out, but pretty much. I also own a blush. I'm not sure where it went, but I might be using the blush that came in that Clinique kit today. I've never used that before. Oh, and normally I put a little concealer down my nose. But I'm just going to be taking some from my forehead and using that because I forgot. Then I'm going to blend out up here. And make sure you blend, blend, blend. Because if you don't blend, then your face is going to look uneven and blotchy. And not that great. So, this is me with my blended concealer. Yep, it looks pretty good. So, put that back. Next, I'm going to go in with the Better Skin Powder. And then I'm going to take my big brush right here. And you can see I love it so much because it's almost all gone. So, yeah, and this comes with an applicator, but I like using the big brush. I just put some on my brush, and now I'm blending it out. Go down your chin into your neck, and blend like into your hairline, side of your face. I'm gonna take a little more and do the same. Looks about good for this powder. Next, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris 2 Match Super Bundable Powder in shade Warm. I don't use too much of this because I just don't. But, just do light, light cover over the other powder. My hair is a mess. I'm sorry about that. I just didn't feel like doing it today. <laughs> and my lips are naturally this color, if you want to know. I don't know how I got blessed with beautiful pink lips. It just, just happened. And normally I don't wear like, lip products. Sometimes I do. If it's like a special occasion. But lately I haven't been. 
Okay. Next. Alright, so the base of my face is done. I don't use setting powder because I just I just never like really got into that. Alright. I feel like shaping my brows now. If I could find. Okay, here's my spoolie. Let's clean it off a bit. Alright, so next I'm gonna go with my spoolie and just shape my eyebrows. I do have to get them tweezed and waxed, but I'll have to do that soon. Just to make them even and pretty. Just keep them tamed. <laughs> Alright, looks they're about good. If you keep up with this, then they like become the shape you want. I feel like because I kind of do this almost every day and they shape the way I like them. So that's good. And yeah. So we're looking around good. And yeah. Next, I'm going to go in with some blush. I really don't know where my other blush went. Let me just make sure I'm using the right product. Alright. I'm going to be using this powder blush right over here. See, if you want to look in the back, it's one of these. Then I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to use this side. It's a Laura Geller brush. That's cute. It has a little lip on the side. Okay. I'm going to take a little of this. And go on the apple of my cheeks. I might vlog a little bit today because I think I'm going to go to the fair with my mom. Because I was going to invite some of my friends, but I think I'm going to go with my cousins too. So we'll see what happens. I don't even know if this is working. I can't tell. Is that the right brush? It probably isn't. a little more but it should be working better if you can't tell I don't use this blush like ever all right it's giving me a little pink tone not much you don't want to go too much though so oh, it has a little shiny finish with a little highlighter lately I've been using I don't have a fan brush like for highlighter so let me just figure out which brush I want to use for my highlighter let's see this is for foundation I don't think I have a highlighter brush contour buffer let's use this because why not I mean it's okay it doesn't matter it probably does but don't care today. Oh my god, that's so much. Wait, let's like... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong brush. Wait, I'll, I'll come back. Wait, one second. That's a nice, this is a nice blush brush. Blush brush. Alright, I think I'm just going to go in with this one again. Because like, same thing, Laura Geller that I use for my blush. Oh my god, it's so powdery. Alright, I've never used this one before. Also, I got these new bracelets from Shasco. I'll put um, their name in the description if you want to check them out. They're on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. 
Ooh. Doesn't look too bad. This is like a natural look, because I'm in the seventh grade, so you don't want to be like a full face of makeup. But just to put a little shine on your face, I'm gonna use some highlighter. Alright, my nose is really sparkly, but for right now it's okay. Because this was just to experiment and have fun. That's really what I do with makeup. I also got my hair done this summer. I got more highlights, if you can't tell. Put a little highlighter under my jaw to make it glow a bit. Never done that before. Why not? We all need a little extra grow. Gl glow, not grow. Ugh, my lips are looking a little crusty. Let's go with it. Let's glow with it. No pun intended. Alright. So I think we got our full look. I normally do mascara. But like I said. This looks pretty cool. Alright. Let's try to put it in front of the light. I like this look. It's not too bad. I'm just going to do like my normal look. I normally don't do this much highlighter, but yeah. Ooh, I also want to put a little chapstick on. Or, actually, I've been using this new stuff. Not new, but like, it's a lip tint lip gloss. So it looks like, I got it from Bath and Body Works. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this. This looks like sun-kissed. This reminds me of summer. That's sad. Alright. So, I went from blah to yeah. yeah. Well, let's just say that. So, I'm going to squirt a little out. And put... Ooh. On my lips. I don't have big fat lips like other girls, but I mean, just be you, girl. Be you, boo. All right, I'm just gonna go look at myself in the mirror. This is pretty cute. I like this look. Just, wait, why did blush get under my? It's okay. It's okay. All right. So, I think this will be the end of the video. Oh, also, wait, before I end the video, I just want to show you. I don't think I still make these, but they're like, I've also been using these. These are like one of my favorite things ever. I have two of them. They're like sparkly lip chaps chapsticks. You know the EOS balls? Well, now it comes in like a shiny, like white. And it's like a clear tint, but on your lips with a little shine. I found these in my closet the other day. Like, two days ago. And I saw the same one, but in pink. And they're so nice. I can't even explain to you how nice they look on your lips. But, yeah. So, hope you guys liked my little life update and my makeup look. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. Mwah.